Grand Rising, everybody. Hope all is well. This is going to be a full moon message for you that's taking place on Wednesday, May 26th. And it's a lunar eclipse. And it's kicking off eclipse season for us, uh, so which means there's another one right after. But each full moon comes with a new moon. And those are six month cycles. So this is going to be a full moon in Sagittarius, but it's asking you to look back at the intentions that you set during the new moon in Sagittarius, which was December 14th. What did you have in mind? What intentions did you set during the new moon? So ideally, these are six month cycles. You set an intention and then it gives you six months to, to create those new intentions and see them manifest during the full moon. Now, maybe you might not have, maybe you're not where you want to be, where the intentions you set from December when luck was on your side, and now it's asking you to look at the bigger picture. This full moon in Sagittarius is asking you to look at your individual personal freedom. Right? It's going to ask you to take a look at your freedom and, and where you are right now, and specifically back, date back from December. Where were you in December? What were you doing then? Now, now, if you're on track, then things will manifest for you, you know, beautifully. If you might not be where you want to be, don't worry, because this moon is going to heighten it. It's going to shine the light. Like there's a light from the moon. It's going to shine at night. You know, then it's going to light the, the sky at night, and it's going to show you what needs to be lit. It's going to show you what needs to be rearranged or what needs to be focused on or what needs to be let go. With any full moon, the idea is to release. Right, It's full, so it needs to be emptied. So part of your, your full moon rituals should be to write down things that you want to release so that you can move forward in life. The new moon is setting intentions. The full moon is what you need to release to make room for the next one. And behind that, new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. It's a very potent moon. It's going to be very close to the earth, so you're gonna feel its energy. You're gonna feel its emotions. You're gonna feel its, its, its desire to want personal freedom, personal growth. You know, it's been, think about it, it's been six months already since, since we talked about this specific moon, but everything comes in cycles. What cycles are you in? What cycles are you in that, that might need to end? Or what cycles did you start? And are you, are you where you want to be now? Let's pull some cards here. What victim role are you playing? Are you just saying you're a victim? Are you actually tied up? Nine of Swords. Are you actually playing a victim role or telling yourself you're a victim to something that you have complete control over? As easy as she's tied up, it's easy for you to just wiggle your way. Use the swords to wiggle your way out of the entrapment. You have the power to remove yourself from whatever victim situation you're telling yourself. For those of you that might be a victim in a situation, you can easily remove yourself from that situation. Use your words. Swords is communication. Swords is your mind. Swords is how you speak. I know Mercury is going retrograde, which is Mercury is the planet of communication. So things will not necessarily come out the way you want. So be very cautious with your words. Be very cautious with what you say because people will perceive it a different way, which is why they tend to say not to, not to make hasty decisions. Count to 10 before you make a decision. Count to 10 before you speak because what you say might not come out the way you want it to. But are you playing a victim? What hopes dreams do you have? What is your personal dream? What is your personal power? What's your personal hope, wish, wish fulfillment? 
right? You might be stuck in a situation. This is asking you here, this reading right here is asking you to pull yourself from that victimship, from that victimhood. Remove yourself from being a victim. Um, stop, complain stop telling yourself that you're a victim. When again, you have the power to remove yourself from that situation. And if it's been cycles that you've been in for the last six months, you are the, and you're the victim of your own, of your own mind, you're the victim of your own words, you're the victim of your own power, you know, how are you going to reach that star card, that hope, that wish, that dream, that Aquarius energy, that in the spotlight, how are you going to achieve that if you're stuck in a situation? Do you know the truth? What is the truth? Justice card. Are you telling yourself the truth or are you just, just telling yourself something to fulfill something for the, for the moment? Do you know what it, are you balanced? Is your life balanced? Is everything where you want it to be? This full moon is going to ask you to look at that. Look at all of that. Five, five, five on the clock. Right? Number of transformation. Are you in a position to transform? Let's pull from the hype man deck. Love that journey you're on, sis. Love that journey you're on, sis. This is a journey, and it has to be your journey, and you have to love every aspect of it because it's nobody else's. Nobody else can create your journey except for yourself. No one else can change your journey except for you. Love the journey that you're on because it's the journey that you have been put into, and it's part of a bigger picture and trust and spirit that everything will work out in your favor. I hope this message resonates with you. I'll see you guys soon.